you sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own Symbiote Spider-Man mask from the upcoming game, Spider-Man 2 by Insomniac Games. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Propway. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you guys because I personally think it's one of the easier props that I've made. If you've been following Propway for a while, you may remember my last Spider-Man mask with the mechanical lenses. And this symbiote mask uses that same template, which you can find in the description, and you just have to make some slight modifications. And because the symbiote mask in the game looks to be more like a hard helmet as opposed to a traditional fabric Spider-Man mask, a foam build is the perfect option for this. Before we start, please consider clicking that subscribe button for more superhero cosplay content. And now, let's get on with the build. So this is the template for my original Spider-Man mask, and as you can see, I just printed it out on US letter size paper. And here, I'm just going to cut out all the pieces with an X-Acto knife, or you can use scissors, whatever you want. And here is the template fully cut out. It is only one half because we're going to mirror it later for the other half. Now I'm going to transfer it on to this 5mm EVA foam, and I just take a sharpie and I trace out all those pieces just like this. Once all the pieces are traced out, you can start cutting it out with an X-Acto knife. And here are all the pieces. And now I want to use some contact cement made by Weldwood, and we're going to apply that to all of the seams. Once that contact cement dries up a little bit, we can start connecting the pieces just like this. And this piece here is the main mouthpiece. And now I want to take a heat gun and curve up the other pieces by heating it up and kind of adding a dome shape to it just like this. So again, I'm just going to apply the contact cement onto all of the seams that are going to be assembled. Then we push it together just like this. And these two halves go together to make the main forehead piece. And now we can connect this forehead piece to the mouthpiece at the seam right in the middle. Continuing on, we're going to start working on the side pieces. So again, contact cement is already on these seams. I'm just going to apply them together. And once you have these larger pieces connected, you can connect them to that front piece of the mask, which is the, the forehead and the mouthpiece. So this is the main back and side of the helmet, and now we can just connect it to the front of the helmet. And here's what your main base should look like. So because the eyes are a little different on the symbiote mask, you can see here I traced it out with a pencil and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. So now the eyes are a little bit bigger and a little bit more accurate. Here I am trimming out the back of the helmet. And again, this is just to make it a little bit more accurate to the game. Quick test fit. And here you can see it fits me quite nicely. This actually might be a little too loose, but that's okay. Now I'm using a Dremel to round off all of those sharp edges on the eyes. And now you can see it's a little bit more smooth and more natural looking. Now we're going to take some black acrylic paint and just brush it on the entire helmet. And after I put on the acrylic paint, I just took some of this spray paint and put on a light coat just to cover up any imperfections from the acrylic paint. Now using this clear resin epoxy, we are going to mix one part of resin and one part of the hardener. And basically, once you mix those together, you're going to get a resin that you have about a 30 minute working time with. And here, I just take a foam brush and apply it onto the entire helmet. You do not need to be perfect with this at all. It's actually better to be a little bit more rough. And once you have it all applied, you can see I'm using my fingers to kind of massage it. And that's how we get the rough look that the symbiote is known for. So the challenging part about this epoxy is that even after you mess it up a little bit, after a minute or so, it's going to start to self-level. As you can see here, it starts to become smooth again. So what you want to do is every few minutes before it fully hardens is you want to continue kind of massaging it and getting it messy. And once the resin is fully cured, you'll have a helmet that looks like this. Now I'm going to use this white plastic mesh material and it is see-through. So basically, it's going to be perfect for this cosplay helmet, and we're just going to end up gluing it to the inside of the helmet like this. 
As you can see, I used some hot glue, and right now the inside of the helmet looks super messy, but all of that wet epoxy is fully dried, so it's not an issue to wear. And once it's glued in, the helmet should look like this. So one final step is that we are going to add in these grooved lines that you see on the side of Spider-Man's mask. So what I do here is I take an X-Acto knife and I draw out that line. Then I take a Dremel and I use this grinding bit like this. And then basically we just draw along that outline we made. And this is gonna give it a nice indent. Now I take my vacuum to clean up all of that dust. And then all we have to do is color back in those lines and then add some epoxy over that. Now you can be finished with the helmet at this point. I wanted to go a little further and add in some extra color around the eyes just to be a little bit more accurate to the game. As you can see in the game, there's sort of a bluish tint around the eyes. So basically, I just took some of this blue acrylic paint and lightly brushed it onto the edges and kind of gave it a nice faded gradient look to it. And now this is what the final helmet looks like. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you try making this mask for yourself. I had such a fun time with this helmet and I just really love the look and texture that we got from the clear epoxy and I think it looks super accurate to the game. That is all for this video. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me what props you want to see next. Like this video, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I can't wait to see the symbiote suit from the new Spider-Man 2 game and hopefully there's a couple more props that I can build from there. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.